Welcome back to Getting In Line Caroline. I have for you my February TBR. And first up, um, this is my book club selection for the month of um, February, no, March. So I'll be reading it this month so we can talk about it next month. And that is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. It has a lot of awards. It deals with a subject I'm not too fond of, but that's okay. I am quite far. I believe I'm on page 60 so far, and it is turning out to be a really good book. Um, I think it's because it's from my heritage, Mexican American. I can relate to so much of what they're saying and the issues that they're dealing with. So I can really connect with this and I really like it so far. Really good book. I think it's mainly about friendship and the family dynamics. Really good book so far. Let you know what I think after I finish. And then I'm also going to be reading Under Rose Tainted Skies by Louise Gornal. And that, I don't know if I said that right, but this dealing with mental awareness. So she has OCD. She's a um, coming of age girl, teenager, high schoolish, and she has a lot of issues. I don't know how she got these issues yet. I'm on 70 something pages in this book and it's quite different from this one so different really good book I, I i picked this book because of the cover i like birds and i picked this one up from a library it's called crazy love by um francis chan overwhelmed by a relentless god and i am on page 57 in this book this is really good really good Christian book. I'm not done with it yet. My husband's not a fan of it, but I can learn something from everything. So I don't have to agree with everything, but I can definitely pull stuff out that will help me in my walk in some way. So I do, I, I am liking it so far. I'm only on page 57 and it's not that long. So if you want to pick this up, this one's a really good one. It's Francis Chan, Crazy Love. And then, of course, I am reading my Bible. I am in 1 Timothy and 2 Timothy. I've skipped over Revelation. I know I was doing that before, but I haven't found... Um, I, I'm, I'm having trouble with it, so I stopped it and I went to first and second Timothy so I'm focusing on those because that is sharing God's word those those are your past pastoral pastoral epistles pastoral books so it's telling you how to share God's word and it's instruction on how to share God's word in first and second Timothy and then of course I'm doing the Bible study series on this channel and I am in Matthew mainly Matthew, but it's pulls from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So that is it. And then with my first and second Timothy, I am doing the Beth Moore book with it. Very good study. I am really liking it and it comes with videos and I checked out the videos. There's $7.99 each and there's seven uh, videos, I think very good if you want to spend the money on it. I, my church is putting it on for me so I don't have to buy the video and I'm watching it with my, my ladies in Bible study. But I really recommend this one. It was really good so far. I'm on the third one. And then if there's time, I will be hitting the last book of Sarah J. Mass's, um, what is that called? Throne of Glass series. I think it's the last book. Let me know if it's not. And it's Queen of Shadows. I am not too fond of the series just because there's so much witchcraft and I feel like they repeat the names over and over that it's like engraved in my brain. So when I'm sleeping or when I'm getting ready, that I keep, you know, it's like a song that you can't get out of your head. 
I can't get these names out of my head. So that's the only bad thing I didn't like about it. And there's a lot of witchcraft things going on. So I'm just not a fan of it, but I'm going to finish it just to finish it because it is still somewhat interesting and entertaining. This is a fat book. So I'll probably listen to it and uh, on audible as well as read it. Let me see if there's something I'm listening. No, that is my selection for February. Let me know if you've read any of these or if you've done any of these studies and let me know how you're doing. Talk to me and I'll see you soon.